Hello everybody, this is your friend Robert from CallMeTechSavvy.com where we have the best in tech news, tech skills so that you can be tech savvy. Hey, we got a video for you today and we're going to uh, do a little more work with uh, CSS uh, buttons. I want to show you this cool um, application uh, that is that you can download from Chrome. It's called uh, CSS Shack. It's called CSS Shack. Uh, we're going to launch it here. I'm just going to show you what it does. There's some cool things that I think that's going to make your uh, web development just a little more easier. And I think you'll, you'll find it uh, to be quite nice. Uh, and I do want to show you to download it. It's pretty simple. You're just going to open up your Chrome browser. You're going to go to your Chrome store. Wait for it to load here. And by the way, I'm just using Ubuntu. Um, as you know, I like to use uh, multiple operating systems, some cool things um, that I find in each one that kind of draws me to it. So I'm using Ubuntu uh, right now. Just type in CSS Shack. Okay. And we see it's already downloaded here. It also has a pretty cool uh, extension that you can use. Um, but you would just simply click on it. Uh, and then you would just simply hit f normally it will say free download or something to that effect here uh, and you would just do that and we'll pull it up that way okay uh, so here we are um, within the application again once you get it uh, downloaded or installed or added to the dashboard uh, you could then from there simply right click on it and you just click uh, create shortcut from there it will send it to the desktop if you so desire so even with your browser closed it will, it will create an icon that will allow you to launch it um, and launch it by itself it's one of those offline apps that uh, Chrome makes uh, just so wonderful for users but this application is cool because it allows you to uh, make CSS buttons and make different things with CSS that you could easily add to your web project add to your website add add to your web application and then you can take the code and simply copy it and paste it into your website um, so I came across this and I just wanted to show it to you uh, let's create a, a quick button you have layers so it kind of uh, is familiar or, or kind of makes you uh, more or less compare it to a uh, image editor or something like uh, Adobe um, products or some type of, of of image manipulation tool graphic design tool that kind of you know what it puts me in the mindset of so what we can do from here is set the width and the height we're just going to create a button here um, let's see let's just come up with something that may kind of look good for us and we're going to make it uh, somewhat large just for the sake of this example here alright so we have this we have the basic outline um, no face it simply is of course how transparent it is with the background so we're gonna set it there let me go over to the background let's begin to change some colors Let's get a cool color that we can use um, it looks good and it gives you two options the top and the bottom which will allow you to do um, some uh, gradient styles if you so desire uh, but we'll do something kind of straight up here so let's just use top and bottom we'll just put in the numbers there so we have a nice color um, and repeat size or the contain or you can go auto cover and if there's an image that you wanted to upload as the background of your button you could do that if you so desired okay again we're just going to go through it um, it's the bevel let's adjust the blur of the bevel what surrounds it there and of course you can change the highlight color and the shadow color let's get something kind of in the middle there that looks good I set the radius, get some rounded edges. We can kind of 
to extend that border we needed to. Alright. Again, this, you see how simple this is just to um, just to make a, a button here. Okay, and you're going to kind of give it some uh, dimension. You can just play with the settings, see what each setting does. Let's see if one's going to give you uh, a better look. Now let's see what that spread's going to do as far as. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that altogether. Uh, I'm just going to see if one's going to give you a better look, a better feel better style than the other. Now let's add some text here. Let's just make this a let's just say um, home. Let's call it home. Let's call it a home button. Um, we'll enlarge it here. Before we do, let's go ahead and do the align center here. The alignment center we can control the X and the Y axis and get it right where it needs to be. Let's change the color. Um, see here let's bold it put a little weight to it then we can adjust this stroke I think that looks good there and again we can choose from different colors but just for the sake of time we're kind of using the defaults and we're going to make the best of them here in each one of these uh, buttons kind of gives it a cool feel there transform to give you different uh, rotations and different things you can use but look we just created a simple CSS button that you can take and you can put it in your web browser um, or put it in, in your editor and here's all the code already written for you wonderful code you just add this whole portion into your website and you're good to go you have buttons there Alright, so I hope this is something that uh, was useful f for you and, and something that you can take and you can add to it and create good things. L please leave comments. Um, please send me your ideas. Send me some of the creations that you've made for your website. Um, as always, you can send me an email directly to Robert uh, Woodbury at callmetechsavvy.com. That's Woodbury, W-O-O-D-B-U-R-Y. Or you could go over to our website, callmetechsavvy.com, leave uh, some things on the YouTube uh, channel, or if you want you to just go over to our website, leave comments there on the blog. Whatever it is, just contact us, talk to us. We love to make you videos. Let us know um, what's helping you. Let us know what we can do for you. Until next time, stay tech savvy.